Hi and welcome back. Today I want to continue talking about a combat system and this week's progress. First of all, my current enemy didn't have any animations, so at the beginning of this week I made some of them. This actually took a while and I'm not even satisfied yet, because the character is not humanoid and it's really difficult to create specific animations for it. Even something as simple as walking was difficult to make. Also, before this, I had to create a skeleton for it, which obviously was also specific. And I had to google the boar skeleton anatomy to be sure I'm doing everything correctly. And after 3 days, I was done. My boar has now 5 animations. An idle, walking, attacking, running and dying. I will most likely update the animations a bit later, but for now it's good enough. Next step was to add everything to Unity. Everything went smoothly, but when you add something new, at least for me, it seems like something is missing around it. For example, I started thinking how the boar would appear in my game, so I figured that first I need a mob spawner, and that's what I created next. It's basically an empty object that has some borders, and a script that lets you create a specific amount of boars placed randomly in that field. It also makes sure that those boars walk only in that area. It doesn't do anything else, but in the future it will be able to spawn new creatures when all of them are dead, so the map would never get empty. Next I have created an animator controller for my boar and added all the animations. I created a script so it could walk randomly in a field. At this point I wanted to make the boar to be recognized as an enemy. My main hero can now attack it. And I also made a simple life counter just for testing. When you hit the boar 3 times, it dies. Simple as that. There are no hit effects or life somehow fading from the boar, so there's not much action going on right now, but hopefully it's gonna look better next time. There were so many bugs in the process, I made many tweaks over and over again until I couldn't find any of them anymore, but I'm sure I will find some new bugs later. For example, my main hero can attack the boar with no problem, but if it walks away, then my character immediately starts running towards it to attack again. But since the boar doesn't react for now, it walks away and the whole process begins over and over again almost every frame, so my character looked like it was lagging a lot. In order to fix it, I made sure that when my character starts attacking, it ignores the fact that the boar is leaving and continues attacking until the attack is finished, and then he again tries to catch the enemy. So that's it for this week, next time a boar should be smarter than it is now, he will definitely be able to react to damage and attack the player. I also want to add some other characters like a rabbit which is gonna be running away from the player when it sees him, a deer that will also act in a similar way but a player will be able to attack it at least once and the last character will probably be a wolf which is gonna be aggressive. I simply want to test all the possible enemy types right now. So that's my plan for the next week. I hope you enjoyed the video, like if you did and if you have any suggestions for the current enemy leave a comment below. See you next time and have a great week.